So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new test. I'm going to start with scra uh, from scratch. I'm going to write a test for a string calculator that adds this dependency. And because this is test driven, I'm going to write my test before I do anything else. So I'm going to say test uh, public void. I need to give it a good name. The name would be, well, add is the entry point. I might say always because it always does something. It's not only when a specific something, the behavior happens. I want add to always call a logger. And I can say calls logger. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that the world that I would like to have in my code already exists. So I'm going to write my test as if everything I need already exists. For example, I might say I would need a fake logger. I might say uh, my fake logger. Now I, I already wrote this for you guys in the demo, so you're going to see that this class is already written. And I might say um, the fake logger, just so that you don't see it in the IntelliSense fake logger um, mock log equals new is a fake logger. What else? Uh, we want to send the fake logger into the string calculator. I want to say string calculator equals... I'm not going to use make calc anymore for this because when I use mock objects, I want to have an explicit dependency. I want to be able to control the things that I send into the constructor. So I, A, don't want to use the helper method, and B, if I did choose to use the helper method, it would become very, very messy very fast. Somehow it would have to save the mock object in a, in a variable in the class, and then I would have to figure out which, it would become very unreadable. So I'm just going to make it right now uh, direct. So I'm going to say new string calculator, and I'm going to send in mock log. And of course, this won't compile yet, but remember, the point is to finish the test and say, yeah, I think this is good enough. I understand the problem. This is how I want to test it, and then I make everything work according to that. Then I might say uh, sc.add. Well, this is the simplest I can think of. And assert equals got zero into the logger. Mock log dot written or written. And if I'm happy with that, <clears throat> I can go ahead and create a class right above here because no one else is currently using this. If I see that I have multiple tests in multiple classes using those fake objects, I can then refactor and move it into a separate file. But right now, I want everything as close as possible to the test so that the serial killer doesn't need to go to my house and ask me what the hell that is. Class, the fake logger, uh, implements, logger. Now, logger doesn't exist yet, obviously. But I'm going to pretend it exists for a second. And here I'm just going to say public void write string text. I'm just going to say uh, written is equal to whatever the text is. So this should be enough. Now I've actually gone ahead and uh, created uh, the slow logger. And I do have an interface for logger, which I wrote before. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect to that. I'm just going to say logger, import the class. So I do need the field here. Uh, put it indirectly in this class and make it public. I don't need a getter and a setter because I want this code to be simple. There's no reason to hide and protect anything because this class is only for tests. Now, I still have to go and add the uh, parameter to the constructor. 
So I'm going to go ahead and say that the parameter type is logger. I'm going to call it log. Because the production code doesn't need to know that there is such a thing as mock objects at all. So it has to be purely abstract. And I'm going to save this as a field. So that's the difference. Now remember, this is TDD, so I want my test, after it compiles, I want to see it fail. So I'm not adding the functionality of calling the logger just yet. If I run this test, um, I, oh, now there's a different compilation error, and you're going to find this as well. And remember, we talked about maintainability of the test. Now I have 10 tests for string calculator, but now I've added the constructor argument. Now I would have to change all my tests if, I, if all of them did new string calculator. Luckily, I do have the make calc method right here, which is which means I only have to change one place. Now the question is, what am I going to send as an argument? The answer is, I'm just going to send in a fake logger. But this time, I'm not, no one is going to assert against it, right? That means that for all the other tests, they're just going to have a stub logger. Just makes happy noises, doesn't do anything. So now, very easily, I can just say, just send it in you the fake logger. So that's it. If I run the test now, they should all be passing except the one that I wrote. Where are you? Okay. And I can see now, expected got zero, but actual was nothing. So only my test, the last test is failing, which is what I wanted. So it took me only a few seconds to make all the other tests pass by sending in a stub. And only in a single test am I using a mock object. Okay? And this is where the maintainability aspect comes in. Otherwise, this would be hell now to go and send a new one in each one, in each other test. So now I can go in and say, okay, let's go to the string calculator. <clears throat> and when I call add, I can say uh, blah, blah, blah. Where is it? Well, I just have to find somehow the default value, right? So I might say, let's add that here. Put it right there and say, log right dot plus default value. And of course, this is bad because I'm repeating myself, but I can refactor it later after the test passes. I'll do two string. Let's see. Oh, I need to handle the exception. Okay. And that means probably that now I have to go and handle the exceptions in all the other cases. Now I have to go here, and this is the part that I hate. Coming from many different languages, adding that throwable stuff is just horrible to me. I just don't like it. Now I have to go to all the tests and add the throw th throws throwable, whatever that means. Uh, so you see, you do it once and then you're done with it, but it's still pretty horrible in terms of... Uh, of usability and maintainability. Okay. And let's see if that would work. Assert adding. Assert adding. Are we done yet? Are we there yet? Thank you. 